What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. My name is Gage Edwards and I'm here with the top five stories for the week of March 24th, which means we're nearing the end of March already. Oh God, this year's flying by already. Oh, I'm getting so old. But that means we're one week closer to Waste Expo, which is happening in May. And you better be there. I better see you there. Anyway, let's get into those top stories. Number five, data erasure clears the way for a circular economy in the tech world. The company Blanco, along with other speakers, hosted a webinar to explain the benefits of businesses using data erasure programs and how that promotes sustainability professionally and socially. This is a fascinating look into how companies can save computers and keep them in circulation longer to positively impact the environment. Number four, the Nothing Wasted podcast, episode 187, a look inside the U.S. Plastic Pack. Check out this awesome interview with Emily Tapaldo, the executive director of the U.S. Plastics Pack and one of Waste360's 40 Under 40 award winners for 2023. In the interview, Tapaldo speaks on the latest developments and progress regarding the pact, the future of packaging, managing stakeholders, and more. Number three, what will federal PFAS rule mean? The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, has finally announced the long-awaited proposed PER and poly polyfluoral... Poly poly uh, hold on, I, I'll get this. Uh, let's see. Polyfluoralkyl. Polyfluoroalkyl. Polyfluoroalkyl. Polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS, drinking water limits. I wish I just would have said PFAS because we all know that, right? Also, this is your daily reminder to drink water. Number two, Lanza Tech's next steps to scale aviation fuel from waste. Lanza Tech is on track to launch the world's first commercial scale plant to make sustainable aviation fuel from waste gases. Project Dragon, or decarbonizing and reimagining aviation for the goal of net zero, will leverage steel mill emissions from a plant in South Wales expected to be operational in 2026. And the top story of the week, Frontier Waste Solutions expands Texas footprint with Absolute Waste Services acquisition. Frontier Waste Solutions has expanded its reach in South Texas with the acquisition of Absolute Waste Services, AWS, which AWS is a Corpus Christi based company which provides residential and commercial roll off services. The addition of AWS will increase the Frontier Waste Solutions presence in the Corpus Christi market. And those were the top stories from Waste360.com this past week. You should check out Waste360.com to read more about each story. If you're on YouTube, you can just click the links in the description below. I made it easy for you. And don't forget, Waste Expo is happening in May. We're going to New Orleans for a huge event, May 1st through May 4th, and you better be there. It's gonna be a great time. As always, I've been Gage Edwards, and look, I was serious about that water thing. Drink some water. Do it! <laughs>